We, uh, the Network of Rural Women, is an organization that has consultative status with the United Nations. Today we have reached the foundation program. We are working with not only the adults, but also with the children, because we know that the problem begins from very young. As a result of that, we are working with the police youth clubs, as well as the officers that are in the community relations sections of the police. And in this foundation program, the components are, it covers family, it covers culture, it covers a number of other areas. There are 12 components in the program. Also included... All right, so we are back here at the Now Morning Show. And as you just were seeing there, we have Ms. Gia Gaspar-Taylor. Mrs. Gia Gaspar-Taylor. You answer to both? <laughs> nice. That's Ms. what we're talking about. And Ms. And Ms. Yeah, she's just answering. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and she's the president of the Network of Rural Women's Producers of Trinidad and Tobago. And also with me is Inspector Ryan Duncan, Duncan of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Um, you particularly work with the community relations, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. All right. So we just had, well, as we saw there just now, the 64th UN Women Commission on the Status of Women. Tell me what was learned during that um, CSW. Can I call it the CSW? It's just well, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to 25 years ago. All right. Um, in Beijing, when Hillary Clinton said that human rights are women's rights and vice versa, mm -hmm. since then we have seen a number of organizations here in Trinidad and Tobago. For example, Iris Gibson, who was a one of the foundation members of Families in Action, and uh, uh, many of the others who came after her, like the Coalition on Domestic Violence mm -hmm. and so on. And they all have been working on the issues of human rights and all of the related issues dealing with the domestic violence. As such, we look at all of the programs that are introduced by the United Nations. And going to the 64th session on the Commission on, on the Status of Women, we thought that last year we wanted to have with us some of the officers who were trained, Inspector Duncan was one of them, in the program mentioned, the foundation program. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year, again, we thought that it might be better to give some feedback to the UN on the impact that this program has had. And we look at the fact that the Commissioner of Police thought it fit to have a unit now, because we need to look at the theory of change. Mm -hmm. We have had people in the past who worked on domestic violence over the years, and yet we are seeing the problem doesn't seem to end. No, it doesn't. It's over and over, we're having women and children murdered. And this is something that we thought we needed to give some feedback to the UN, as well as to learn, because there are about 860 workshops at the UN. And uh, the, con the contingent, the delegation, will also be participating in as many as possible. Like last year, um, Inspector Duncan put on his running shoes <laughs> <laughs> and really attended most of the projects. There are projects that are inside of the UN, right. and there are workshops that are outside of the UN. Uh -huh. Outside is 860. Inside is just about the same amount. Okay. So you really have to be wearing your running shoes well, of course, in so order to participate. Inspector Duncan, tell me, how has this process and this journey been for you? Um, it has been a pleasant morning to one and all, uh, Corporate Trinidad and Tobago. It has been fantastic in the sense that uh, there are a number of fundamentals that we look at in relation to what Ms. Gaspard mentioned, the foundation program. And that foundation program did not only sensitize persons in relation to gender, gender equality mm -hmm. and the rationale behind how men and women perceive themselves 
um, but it also gives the participants that opportunity whereby we're looking at what you call being trying not to be judgmental in your approach in terms of how you would rationalize a situation or to look for how men are to respond in relation to issues of women. And um, in almost all the lectures that I do or whatever talk shop that we have, it is, it is important that you understand this, this, this part of it. Men don't actually speak. They keep everything all bottled up inside. So the foundation program, inclusive of other initiatives that were put forward, especially uh, the barbershop initiative, if I may say, the barbershop initiative, it gave males that impetus to go on, put you in a, a setting whereby you are mentored to, because we need positive role models in Trinidad Agreed. and Tobago. Agreed. So you are mentored to, you, you, you have an avenue and a space whereby you can vent freely mm -hmm. without being Judge. treated, yeah. being judged for what you perceive. Um, the, the foundation program, it covers a number, multiplicity of areas. And at the community relations where I work, where we deal with close to uh, 100 plus youth clubs throughout mm -hmm. the nine divisions of Trinidad and Tobago, the poli policing division throughout Trinidad and Tobago, and with a membership of close to, close to 7,000 youth. youth club. And I'm looking at from oh. the ages of five years to 29 years. Okay. So the mentorship that we do there, it, it's fantastic, it's phenomenal, and we give, we, we decide, in, in days gone by, you'd hear the, the old people say, bend the tree while it's young. Mm -hmm. So this is where we, we actually have to take the handle and run with it. We cannot allow uh, what is happening to continue because it's definitely a crime fighting tool that we're looking at mm -hmm. in terms of the youth clubs. And um, there are a number of facets and components that are associated with it. So it's, it's an awesome, it's an awesome combination. So um, tell me, Ms. Ms. Gaspar Taylor, how has the, the police services their influence, has it been able to help what you have been trying to achieve? Because I, I know bringing them on board is one thing, but when they reach. <laughs> I would say yes, because at first we dealt with 27 officers and uh, there was one member, two members from the w victim and witness um, right. section cool. unit. We had people from Tobago as well as those from the East West Corridor mm -hmm. participating in the project. And we have seen the results in those who participated and the impact on the children that we have, oh, I should say the youth that we were able to work with. And we need to spread that throughout, as you've mentioned, 129 youth clubs and over 7,000 young people. Right. And hopefully this will make a greater change in what is happening within our country. So that I would say yes, we need to continue. We need necessarily to have the type of support yeah. that is needed to make it happen. And one of the areas that we just, I just saw it on, online there, was the energy chamber supporting us. And uh, we were judged as uh, the first runner up. Right. We didn't win. But the fact is we got the information out and right. they are supporting and we are looking for more support that would come out of that initiative so that we'll be able to reach more and more young people. And one of the areas that recently came on board is the Defence Force right. with the CCC per and the MyLAT program nice. so that we have expanded well, tell me, if, if people want to get in touch with you guys to be able to lend that support, how can they reach you? Well, they can reach the police through Inspector Duncan, and he'll give you the number. Or they can reach me at 683-4251. 683-4251. And 6279087. That's the Community Relations Office. Right. We're based at Riverside Complex, um, Riverside Plaza, sorry, in um, Besson Street. Besson Street. Yeah. Okay. And as a, a brand new police station there. Uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it's is. quite sexy it if is. I do say so. <laughs> 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 well, I want to thank you guys so much for coming through You're this morning welcome. and for spreading the information. And we will continue to support in any way that we can here at CCT and on the normal morning show. So feel free to come back and share information whenever you guys want. Appreciate okay? it. Thank we you. thank you for the Not invitation and we'll be back. I know. I know <laughs> you're coming back. I realize you like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much. Okay. So we're going to take a quick break thank and we'll you. come back with so much more on the normal morning show. Good morning. <laughs>